it's pretty freaking weird that we're sailing to St. Thomas right now. I dare you to lick it. Oh my god, wow, honey. Lick it. I have resorted to walking in the gutter. All of a sudden, this Jeep pulls over and says, you guys want to ride? We're like, hell yeah. This is the only anchorage I think that we'll ever be at beside us is a runway. Hi, we're Kristen and Jeff, and we've been fixing up our 40-year-old boat over the last four years. We sold everything that we owned on land for a life on the water. We've had our ups and downs, but we've finally set sail to the sun. Subscribe and come along with us. Trying not to drive through it too much, but kind of inevitable. It's everywhere. <laughs> it's pretty freaking weird that we're sailing to St. Thomas right now. This was Jeff and I's second vacation ever that we took together back in 2008. So it's pretty awesome to come back here. Virgin Islands in general are the best. Looking forward to it. It is so awesome to be back here again. Beautiful. Holy. I mean, even with the rain and the mist, this is pretty freaking epic. I can't wait to be going to shore and exploring. Wow. Can't wait for a rub. The anchor is down, it's set, and we are in freaking St. Thomas, US Virgin Islands. This is crazy. We are so excited to be here on St. Thomas for the last day of Carnival. There's so many things going on, so many colorful outfits. It's gonna be freaking a rockin' time. We were uh, just over in town there to pick up a package that we had delivered over to a set of friends here that live on the island. Zinks for our prop shaft and bow thruster. Very exciting because we don't have any spares right now. The last one that we put on kind of cracked and so it's still on there, but we needed some spares. Yeah, hopefully it's still on there. We haven't gone to dive it since we got in St. Thomas, but. We have our wind scoop up. Gives us some airflow down below because it's stinking hot here. And a couple of cruise ships are in. 
There's a Disney one here on the left and this other guy just came in right now. It's super crazy. Like we've been on a couple cruise ships and we actually stopped here in St. Thomas on one of them twice. Like I remember being on the cruise ship and just being so excited to pull up to St. Thomas because it's so beautiful, this harbor around here. And now we're just like hanging out here and watching the cruise ships pull up next to us. It's just, it's, it's kind of weird. Definitely feel lucky that we are just, you know, like chilling, living here. <laughs> are you excited? There's zinks. <laughs> the most exciting thing ever. <laughs> I'm excited for the right ones. Well, they better be the right ones. Here's the unboxing for you. C30. Good, good. We got four of them just because we don't want to be bothered to try to find these these specific ones Thruster again zinc. for a while. Thruster zinc, yep. Yeah, these are the best ones for sure. The best ones because Jeff is actually able to change them out himself while the boat's in the water. And some other zincs are like really difficult. And they're a good so. size. They're thicker than other ones we've used. And That's they have copper said. anodes in there yeah. on either side. This is a uh, what, Camp brand? Camp? Jeffy's turn to make us up a little bit of a breakfast. He's cutting up some cantaloupe and he gave me my share already, is what he says. <laughs> this is like, come on. What a guy. <laughs> I kid, I kid. We are going on a mission this afternoon. Jeff is back there in the dinghy getting it ready. We're gonna be going and hiking yeah. up this hill that you can see behind me here. We're pumped, let's go and do this. Definitely starting to feel the burn, starting to see the view behind me too, which is pretty cool. Not much shoulder room here. Here there's a tourist track, they're called uh, safaris. Unfortunately, the local safaris don't go up here. Otherwise, we would definitely be doing that. It's worth the buck. <laughs> We've made it this high so far. It's hot. We're doing good. I think we're almost there. It seems like we are. Wow, cool. Dude. Ooh. I have resorted to walking in the gutter. There's not much space up here for walking. Oh, we have made it to the Charlotte Amelie lookout viewpoint. Of course, the obligatory little stalls. But we're here for one thing. And that's this view. We are continuing on. And for the first time, we are now heading downhill. Oh, heck yeah. We're coming up to Drake's seat. I think there's like a bench right up in here and that's the official Drake seat. But of course, the best part is this view of Megan's Bay Beach. Beautiful. We're coming over to Drake's seat because it's cheesy and corny and we love all that crap. Drake's seat. Now we're going downhill pretty good here. Busy today. Almost been hit about 50 times. <laughs> putting our life at risk for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> we have made it to the Megan's Bay Trailhead. Now we're gonna be going down through some forest to get down to the beach. All right, let's go, baby. Hike at your own risk, all right. Don't touch the McAneel tree. And don't trip on these metal pieces either. Yeah. Kristen's probably back there scheming about how she's got me going earlier on the trail to clear all the spider webs for her. But I know the tricks that she plays. Once again, my plan is working. Jeff went first to get rid of any spider webs that may or may not be 
around. I'm going slow. I know. This trail doesn't seem like it's used that often. That's perfect. It's a bit overgrown. Yeah, I guess so. I'm, I'm curious to find this Macaneal tree, whatever it is. Well, why? You're not supposed to touch it. I know, but I want to see what it looks like. I dare you to touch it. I dare you to lick it. Oh my god. Wow, honey. Lick it. I dare you to touch it. <laughs> Ow! Fuck. This thing just stabbed me hardcore in the gut. Holy. Well, it's too late for me now. Save yourself. Whoa! Look at these. Freaking spiketastic. Oh my god. Alright. It's amazing how we can drive down the road and see, like, I'm not even kidding, at least 50 of these pickup, open air pickup trucks with people in them. And you come onto a trail like this, and so far we've seen not a single person. It's like, shows you the priorities people have these days, you know? Take me from the cruise ship to lunch and the viewpoint, and then I need to go for a snack, maybe a nap, and then I'll probably watch someone on YouTube walk the trail with their GoPro or something. Trail's no joke though, you do have to watch your footing. Not recommended to be in flip-flops. My original plant was Keens, but um, I always get a sideways eye if I choose to not use flip-flops because I get negative style points. I've been keeping an eye out for a hippie commune somewhere deep in the jungle here, but I haven't been able to find it. Might have to just make one. I remember when we were in Hawaii, they were telling us about that type of thing going on and it's, it's fascinating. They gotta flush them out every year, every few years. Can't remember exactly how often, but everyone wants to live the tropical dream no matter what. Don't blame them. Beautiful. We just came from back here. Our legs are literally quivering as we're walking. We are ready for an ice cold beer and a beach. Oh, I see water. Oh yeah, sweet, sweet water. Good job, babe. You too. Woo! Way up there is the castle we came from. Oh, shoot, all the way up there. Wow. Killing it. And now we're all the way down here. <laughs> sweet. We've made it out to the beach. Look how many people. When we were here 10 years ago, there was, what, three people on the beach with us? I guess there was no cruise ship at that time. This is nuts. That's ins this is insane. This, is this looks like a freaking Cancun beach or something. It's crazy. People. Now the beer prices are going to be 10 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> it's really making us appreciate the Bahamas a lot more. Wow. We found music in a bar. We also found... Lineups. Lineups and fees. Lineups and fees. We got rum punch and a pina colada over at that bar. $21 for the two of them. Good grief. It feels so nice to have our feet in the water right now. I can't believe how many epic people are here. Holy. Crazy. It's way too many people now. <laughs> you know what's funny when you look down there, you can, I don't know if you can see this on camera, but the area by the bar has about five times more people than anywhere else on, on the beach. So we were over there trying to find out how much it's going to cost to get back because we walked here and it's a long freaking walk. So the first guy we asked, it was 15. Second guy we asked, it was 12. We've heard 10 before, but now I have doubts we can hit 10, but we'll try. That was a nice little dip that we had in the water there. Cooled us off. It is really, 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 really hot. And now we have to go back over to like the parking lot area and try to figure out how to get back to Charlotte Amalie without paying $15 a person in a random freaking taxi cab where they have like eight people and so they're making how much money for like a seven minute drive like that's dumb that's really really dumb plus we only have 20 bucks so that's all we can do we will wheel and deal we'll see what happens <laughs> holy crap there's like mega arguments going on over here behind me here's like the taxi stand area at megan's bay seemed like a guy over here was arguing with them or something and one chick was like you want to stay here or you want to leave if you want to leave you gotta pay 
Like she was going nuts. Then the security guy was going all over it. Like, holy crap, everyone needs to calm down, jeez. This van behind me is a taxi. And that same chick that was like losing her shit <laughs> started yelling at the taxi being like, did you pay to be here? So apparently like even as a taxi, you have to pay these random people just to be able to come pick up your fare that you are like arranged previously. Freaking nuts. So I think we're just gonna start walking. <laughs> like there's an ATM over there, but to take out freaking $4 from an ATM is gonna cost us double that in fees. It's just stupid. So we'll see what we get. We'll put our thumbs out as we get a little bit further away from here. See what happens. <laughs> Oh my god. So we were walking back that entire way. Didn't film it. Sweating buckets. Not enjoying ourselves. Having to rest every like two seconds. Drank half of our water. Like it was dire. It was dire. All of a sudden this Jeep pulls over and says, you guys want to ride? We're like, hell yeah. <laughs> There's a local guy and he's like, well, I can sympathize with you. He, he brought us all the way down here to if randomly you're watching, thank you, dude. <laughs> and we made it back to the dinghy. It's still here in one piece. It's still floating. Time to go back to the boat. Have a nice cold freaking beer. Yeah, Jeff's got some chafe going on. <laughs> I think we both do. It's, it's pretty intense, but we're back and we're alive. And I'm tired and I'm rambling. So we'll see you back at the boat. <laughs> Thank you so much to all of our patrons for supporting our channel. You are helping to keep this dream going so we can share it all with you. If you'd like to join the Joko crew, we'll have a link down below.